Seven arrested for throwing pork and pages of Quran at mosques in India. Um, on August, the dyslexia tonight. Okay. On April 21st, seven individuals were arrested in Uttar Pradesh for the desecration of several mosques. Local police explained that the suspects wanted revenge for the violent clashes that took place in Delhi during the Hanuman Jayanti parades and Ram Navami festivals in early April. The arrested individuals threw torn pages of the Quran and pig meat at mosques in uh, Josiana and Kashmiri Mohalla. They also desecrated Gulab Sa Gulab Sa Baba, a local mazar or shrine. The wire reported that the arrested individuals are members of a local Hindutva group called the Hindu Yodha Sangantham. The group's mastermind, Mahish Kumar Mishra, has a long criminal history. An administrator for the shrine told the wire that they also found posters that said, if you pelt stones, we will, I have to spell this out, we will B-O-M-B you. Um, and also, we have damaged your Quran. If you were born to one mother, come out on the streets and fight. Quote, during the questioning of those arrested, it came to light that they wanted to ruin this city's amicable atmosphere and peaceful tradition, the local superintendent of police said. Is this the official, like the actual footage of the incident, the cover? <laughs> Shut up. Well, now you have to explain what you're looking at for people who are listening. Uh, well, I'm looking at a man throwing up a Quran and a cute little piglet up in the air, but assumingly towards the direction of the mosque in the background. So I don't know. Is this like, is this Photoshop or is this real? <laughs> <laughs> the little pig clip art is really cute. Um <laughs> But mm, I, yeah, yeah Armin, what do you think about this? Um, well, it's both blasphemy and incitement to riot. I mean, you're throwing stuff at people's mosques. You should be arrested for that. It doesn't even if, even if it's not a Quran or a pork or some pork. Like you just like this is harassment. Okay, so obviously it should be criminal. Um, I just don't understand this. Uh, the challenge that you mentioned they said if you are born from one mother to one mother come out and face us is that what you said if you're born to one mother like come and defend your quran basically this must be some as sort opposed of local to saying because i'm like how are you as, not born of one mother <laughs> like like yeah, exactly. do some as people opposed have to what like can someone please explain this saying i'm like this must be i don't maybe this doesn't translate i don't understand <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. As opposed to what? Who are the people who are have been born from two? I was just imagining, like, I don't know, your head being coming out of one woman and then the rest of your body coming out of another woman and you put it together. Like, this Ew. is the weirdest. <laughs> it's the weirdest <laughs> insult. I've, if you're born out of one mother. Okay, sure. That was the first. Um. <laughs> Oh, there we go. Sir, they're, they're specifically insulting surrogate kids. Right. This is anti-surrogate kids. I get it now. Why do they what do they have against surrogate? Is is how is this an insult? Is that something a major taboo? <laughs> <In India? laughs> like they're just specifically if you're not a surrogate kid, come and defend your Quran. Oh my okay. god. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Oh my God, Nanda is so crazy that he's saying Modi government arresting Hindus just for throwing. <laughs> India has become wow. truly Islamic secular. <laughs> what? Oh no! <laughs> By the way, for people who don't know, Nanda is actually seriously like an anti-Muslim. This is not a Hindu troll. This person is. This is not a Yeah, this is like a Hindu kind of person. I don't know. Like this is pretty insane. Okay, yeah, how dare you arrest people for throwing stuff at other people's mosques? I don't know, maybe okay. also being arrested for the posters that they put up that's 
said that they're going to take explosive action against them. I'm using coded language because of YouTube. Um, yeah, I think uh, that I would consider that a direct threat. <laughs> um, yeah, but also look at look at how they put things that are just see as evil together, and it doesn't make any sense. India has truly become Islamic secular. I don't I don't think you do, you know how words work, Nanda. Islamic secular, okay. But here's a, a Kanye Baba is saying bollywood movies have such dialogue like if you're born to one dad then come out and fight for okay that makes more sense though that makes okay? more sense so basically when you say like if you're born to one dad there's talking about people like telling you i mean it makes no sense because it's still shaming people based on things that they can't control okay like whether or it's not calling their your mother stuff. a whore yeah it's basically calling your mother a whore right because it's possible for people not to know who their real dad is and you have like it could be dispute between multiple people it doesn't work like that for mother so this person that was throwing that insult wasn't thinking very hard if or that's... maybe or maybe it's a mistranslation um yeah maybe but yeah what i thought was really interesting is that they were booked under the blasphemy law what they were booked for was the blasphemy law Oh wow! Not harassment. No, well, because the blasphemy laws two nine two nine five is injuring or defiling a place of worship with intent to insult the religion of any class, and two nine five a deliberate and malicious acts intended to outrage religious feelings of any class by insulting its religion or religious beliefs. That's the blasphemy law in India, and that's the same law and area of the aspect of the penal code that people have come after us with. Well, we don't support that. I wish they were like the way that this should have been arrested and charged, in my opinion, is for harassment. And death threats. And, and the, well, yeah. And, and vandalism. And vandalism. Yes, there you go. Vandalism, death threats, and harassment. If you scroll Those down, the there's church. actually a video of what they did. Oh, really? Okay. What mm -hmm. is it? A video of a video, apparently. Is this it? Mm hmm. Wait, hold on. Let me put the no, audio I mean, it's, back there's on. There's not audio. Okay, but it just makes it more interesting if I put the audio. Can you describe what you're seeing? I'm seeing a street and like a back alley and somebody shows up on a motorcycle. <gasps> this is getting intense. There's two people on the motorcycle and they just passed. Oh, no, there's they a second something. motorcycle. They did? I didn't see that. Is that it? Oh, yeah. Wait, no, they didn't. Okay, it's not that viewable. Okay, second motorcycle with two people. I didn't see them. Okay, it's not very clear what they're tossing things as they drive by. They tossed something at the motorcycle, uh, at the mosque, but it's not very obvious i think our footage was more interesting oh there we go this is a okay here guy somebody got off the motorcycle and he has something in his hand and is walking towards the mosque and we don't see what happens behind the scene behind the he goes behind the wall so we don't see what's happening there and the, no what's also notable is that they bought skull caps and dressed up with skull caps to look like muslims as they're doing it can you can see their caps oh, in this video right okay okay oh yeah okay so it's okay so they they're they're under disguise okay interesting okay okay but i seriously think this is this is a better footage that we have like look it's <laughs> so obvious what's happening here <laughs> like, Just, it's not we're not throwing pork we're throwing the pig <laughs> <laughs> chucking like the a whole pig <laughs> I mean, the pig seems to be happy, happy about it. Anyways. No, this, so I, I want to read a little bit about this from The Wire. Um, so wait, where is this about Mishra? The locals told The Wire that Mishra, the main accused, is infamous in the area. Um, so he's, he's the ringleader. Uh, Imran Hashmi, a student leader, said that Mishra had previously filmed himself urinating on a poster of Dr. Embedkar. 
um in another audio uh, recording okay you to- you crossed the line now we're offended this should be blasphemy <laughs> not doctor i'm bad car are you okay this is like uh, my my secularism has been blasphemed against i think we found i think we found a way to blaspheme against secularism yeah yeah there we go (laughs) doctor ambedkar no okay throw the book at these people put them in jail for life okay no but go i'm joking by the way i'm not serious but anybody um in a in a in another audio uh recording hashmi alleged that mishra can be heard hurling communal slurs and targeting a local darga which is like another kind of like little shrine almost um speaking to the wire hashmi said there is a pattern associated with mishra however he has not faced any repercussions these elements are attempting to provoke riots in our city and we are demanding that strict strict stringent action must be taken against these men and then he said what about bulldozers now what will be done to them is a big question referencing how in um uh kargan all these houses of dozens of muslims were just bulldozed because some muslims threw stones and they said if you throw stones like we will turn your homes into stones and illegally bulldozed the houses of many civilians without warning and so this guy's basically saying what about bulldozers now like you punished collectively punished a bunch of impoverished muslims simply because other muslims in the city through stones and without due process you said that that was us in destroyed our homes rendered us homeless like what about mm-hmm. the actions of these hindus taking this reaction against muslims are you going to take bulldozers out against them no you're gonna have to go turn their house into pork <laughs> wait no <laughs> okay okay i have a question though um what happened after he p- pissed on dr ambedkar's picture like did what was there any reaction no that's just an allegation against him okay okay H- how about this somebody do that in india so that we could show them that maybe secularists are chill and they will not come at you after you do that like i don't i mean supporters of the ambedkar i don't think they would be like out in the streets like it would like they're not going to form a mob and try to get I don't revenge know. people go some embed car rights are like pretty hardcore. Um, I, I, yeah, they're hardcore, but they're hardcore in favor of him. But they're not like violent. I think. I hope not. <laughs> they're to not my knowledge. Like, yeah. No, it would be based if some like okay. So like you know you see like some Muslims like in, uh, try to poke at Hindus by blaspheming against them, and you get like a major reaction by a lot of hindus or vice versa some hindus for go and like blaspheme against like what muslims have s- sacred and then you get the major reaction from muslims and then ten- things becomes extremely tense it would be very base if somebody tried to do that with i don't know secularists and be like ah oh, dr ambedkar here i'll piss on his picture and then nothing happens and they'll be like this is see this is the proper reaction <laughs> right like they would be, that would be base i hope that would be the reaction oh no yeah, like, oxymoron is saying they are violent are they actually violent That's okay sad. oxymoron i know you you have your own contentions with and bad rights though like i'm i'm familiar with this so okay so we can't trust some of, the, some of the things you've said about them are like a little wild so i'm gonna take what you your commentary with a grain of salt no offense yes um with a, oh, yeah. Kanye Baba is providing one of my favorite on Bedkar quotes because people always, you know, favorite. Well, the, the Hindu kind of like him because he was a huge critic of Islam as well. Not mm-hmm. as well known for that. But so this is a really good quote saying the brotherhood of Islam is not the universal brotherhood of man. It is the brotherhood of Muslims for Muslims only. There is a fraternity, but its benefits is confined to those within that corporation. For those Based. who are outside that corporation, there's nothing but contempt and, and enmity. B. R. Ambedkar. And Dr. Ambedkar was anti-Hinduism and Islam at the same time, which is amazing that he's one of the founding fathers of India, a country <laughs> country that a lot of people assume is a country of major two religions of Islam and uh, Hinduism, right? But also, even though he seemed like he was a 
pro-Buddhism, I have been almost convinced right now that he was just using the Buddhism brand as a way to promote enlightenment values because nothing about what he... No, I'm pretty sure he, he like openly says that. Yeah, because he's not. he wasn't promoting Buddhism. He was just promoting enlightenment values, but he didn't want it to seem like this is our foreign values outside of India. So he just gave it the Buddhism brand so that it's more... You could sell it more easily inside well, of India. Well, he explicitly wanted to basically gift a new group identity that is self-respecting to the Dalits in yes. like on Bedkarite Buddhism is basically what he constructed. Yeah, but it was, but yeah, but his Buddhism is not actually Buddhism. No, no, no. It's yeah. just about liberty, equality, and fraternity. Um, yeah, yeah. And um, on John Nea is saying, I'm a Hindu and a voter of BJP, but I support the decriminalizing of blasphemy. Well, that's cool. That, I'm I'm glad we have well, that in common. Let's do half good. Blast me. Yeah, yeah. But please don't vote for BJP. Uh, no. Reconsider that. <laughs> what? Rethink what? I wanted to yeah. highlight that because that's an opinion I don't hear every day. Um, yeah. And Forever Stormy is saying, I think you guys need to understand that within Hindutva groups, there is an intense turf war. So when these guys get arrested in places like Uttar Pradesh, it's because they are rivals of those sponsored by the ruling BJP. Oh, oh that's a very interesting way of putting it. Like they're all trying to like rival for like street cred and power. Oh, and being arrested sometimes gives you extra street cred. Exactly. exactly. So sometimes you're trying to be arrested. That's some very good comment. Very good commentary, Stormy. Thank interesting. you. Interesting. 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 You know, I really like who we have in our live chat because people really bounce some very interesting perspectives. And I really like to have that as a sounding board when talking about these issues. Atheist Republic needs your help. We have been the target of many legal attacks by Hindu nationalists ever since our founder, Armin Avabi, blasphemed against Hindu deities. We have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below.